Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rwana. Today is the 6th of January 2020 and we're going to reflect on Matthew 4, 12 to 17 and 23 to 25. Listen. Now when Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and made his home in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea, across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time Jesus began to proclaim, repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics, and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan, the Gospel of the Lord. Hang on a second. King Solomon the Wise once wrote something very profound about there being a time for everything. And I'd like to read it to you because it really is beautiful. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh. There is a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What has this got to do with today's passage? Oh, quite a lot actually. Jesus heard that John the Baptist had been arrested and he withdraws to Galilee. He realizes that there might be a danger to himself and even though he wasn't afraid, remember he has come to die. The time wasn't right. When the time was right, he would go to Jerusalem to face death, but for now, he pulled away to carry his ministry in the region of Galilee. We should also exercise discernment about the right time to do things, and this applies to all areas of life. Consider a married couple where the husband has done something that upsets his wife greatly. The wife needs to let her husband know how she feels, but he has just returned from work in a foul mood, much as she needs to vent. This is not the time. She should wait for the right time to speak. To make this decision requires a little introspection. Now these are decisions that one can make on one's own, although obtaining God's guidance even with little things is always wise. However, we also need to understand that some things may not be in our control because God has His own time for certain things. To accept this and trust that God will do what needs to be done is a sign of spiritual maturity. It will also bring great peace of mind. So let's be people who are at peace, remembering that God will do everything in His time. God bless you.